because money is tight, we used a coupon to go to TGI Fridays. I don't recommend the one on Kings Highway. Not so good. It took us about 40, 45 minutes to get our meal. And when we asked to speak to the manager to see what was taking so long, the manager looked at us and said, at least you got fresh food. Need I say more? We will not be returning. We're sitting in McDonald's drive through because my dear husband wants a little snack before we head to the food truck. So that food out there can be very expensive. That doesn't really make a lot of sense, right? I'm going to a food truck place, but then I want to eat something before I get to the food truck place. Well, it, I mean, I get what you're saying, but like you said, it's very expensive. So we don't want to spend like a ton of money at the food truck, right? Yeah. So McDonald's is cheaper. And he's one of those people that get hangry, so he needs to eat when he needs to eat. Where are we going? Um, food truck, maybe? Food truck festival, right there. <laughs> Where are we going? We're going this to some live beach. music. Yes! <laughs> As you can see, I'm in the kitchen. I'm washing dishes, straightening up a little bit. I've been on the phone this morning chatting with my friends from Texas. Yesterday was my chat morning with my son, which if you're new here, pretty much forever and ever, my son and I on Saturdays, we start our day talking to each other. We pretty much can talk for about an hour, hour and a half, and it's just so lovely that we just catch up on our, our lives. But with the one hour time difference, it makes things a little bit different. That's been a little bit of an adjustment period, and then this morning I laughed because I woke up to clean up and do some things here, but I wanted to chat with a couple of my friends while I was having coffee. I'm looking at the clock, I'm going, well, it's nine o'clock here, and it's only eight o'clock in San Antonio. Most of my friends are still asleep. <laughs> I ended up calling my friend Terry and we talked for, I don't know, about an hour, I guess, an hour and a half, actually, I think. I woke her up and I was like, oh my God, Terry, you are never sleep. When she said I didn't wake her up, but she was still in bed. It was nice to get to chat with her and catch up. And that was nice. And then I was just on the phone with Molly, but her dad called. We're going to talk later. I need to take advantage of my time and get in this kitchen. My dear husband and I have such opposite ways of having a nice kitchen. He cooks very well. He's an excellent cook, but he's the messiest cook I've ever seen. <laughs> I mean, that man can totally, totally tear up a kitchen. And then his idea of cleaning up a kitchen is basically just like he'll wash the dishes and set them aside and he'll leave my hands sitting over there. I hate stuff sitting around on the counters. I'm in here now trying to figure out how I can get this place cleaned up a little bit. I need to vacuum and all that stuff today. Do some laundry. Tomorrow starts another work week. Oh, it's actually my first full work week tomorrow. This week I only worked from Wednesday and I was exhausted, okay? But of course, you know, when you're learning a new job, your brain gets tired because you're trying to focus on so many things. We're gonna go to the storage unit today. A fun fact about me, I have a phobia about storage units. My phobia came about when I was probably about, I don't know if I was around five or six, somewhere in there. My dad had a part-time job in our town laundromat. He worked there, like he closed it up and cleaned it. One night, somehow I locked myself into what's called the boiler room. And that's the room where all the machines, I don't know, there's like pipes and, and motors running in there, like this big thing that supplies the hot water. I, I don't know exactly what it is. I just know it's a ugly dark room 
And I went in there for some reason, I don't know, a kid, right? Exploring. And I went in there, lo and behold, the door, it locked. I think I could have opened it, but maybe because I was a kid and I was scared, I don't know. But my mom and my dad couldn't get the door open on the other side, which is strange. I don't know what was happening. Maybe they went into a panic. I don't know, but I just remember I was screaming and crying. And I can remember my mom hollering to my dad, get her out of there, get her out of there. From that, I developed this fear, this phobia, if you will. And I cannot go into certain places. I can't go to places alone that have like pipes and things like that. And storage units, for some reason, kind of remind me of that. I literally, legit, cannot go into a storage unit by myself. I wish I could because my dear sweet husband, I don't think he takes it serious that I don't have my stuff. Like he doesn't understand how important it is for me to have my clothes because he has all his things here. Go, but then we'll do two things and he's ready to come back home. Dear, we need to pull the crap out and we need to reorganize because I need access to my clothes. We were not smart when we packed up the storage unit. By the way, y'all, I'm not looking my best right now, but this is what I look like when I'm trying to get things sometimes I just have on an oversized little sweater and because it's cold. It's, this is me, okay? <laughs> we packed our storage unit wrong to begin with. I think we were just exhausted from the trip and just everything that we went through. We weren't smart in when we packed it. And so a lot of the things that I really need are in the back of the storage unit, which is not a good thing. So we really need to, we truly, truly need to pull everything out and repack the stuff. So I'm going into the storage unit to get winter clothes <laughs> in April. And there's all the stuff. Now to try to find me some clothes. <sighs> Good morning, friends. It's actually Monday. I didn't vlog very much yesterday. Yesterday was somewhat of a bad day for me. A lot of things transpired yesterday, emotions, feelings, went to the storage unit. I am now convinced that the storage unit does trigger that homelessness feeling. But the best of me last night, I wanted to, to vlog me getting ready for work today and I just couldn't because my my heart was just broken. I had just a little bit of a day yesterday. I'm on my way to work this morning, so I'm not gonna be on here very long. Looks like it's a busy morning this morning. I actually am on the road a little bit earlier. I'm trying to get to work a little bit earlier so I can chat before I go to work. Today is Tuesday, so I'm a little bit late closing out my weekend vlog. The fact of the matter is, is I had a very uneventful weekend. We did go to the food truck festival, which you saw very little footage of. My apologies. Wasn't anything really for me to share. I mean, there were food trucks and then they had a lot of other things there. But we got there late. My husband had to work until, he, I think he got home like at 4.30. So by the time we got there, it was like 5. It closed at 6, which is normally stays open later. But this year, for whatever reason, they closed early. So we just didn't really have a lot that we did there. Unfortunately, those clips just turned into a little small montage and then it was over. I did some chatting with you all on Sunday, I believe, if I remember correctly, and then Monday went back to work and here we are on Tuesday. So I just wanna close out the vlog. I promise the next vlog will be a little bit better, <laughs> but I wanna close it out sharing with you all my outfit of the day. I'm actually wearing an outfit that came from TJ Maxx if you know, you know, I have always been a TJ Maxx connoisseur. I love shopping at TJ Maxx. I would love for them to sponsor me one day. That would be the ultimate thing for me because I love that store so much. But it's a cute little summer outfit. And when I bought this outfit, I had like the beach in mind of wearing this outfit with sandals, walking on the beach with maybe like a black swimsuit underneath. But right now, I'm wearing it as a work outfit. I'm going to close out the video of me just showing you my outfit. I'm not going to do any chatting through it. I'm just going to play a little music in the back. Before I go, if you are a first-time watcher and you haven't subscribed to my channel, please make sure you do so. Make sure you turn on the notifications. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And if you are a returning subscriber, you already know the love I feel for you. Mwah. Whatever day it is that you're watching this video, I would like for you to find two different YouTubers, watch a video, like, comment, and share it with somebody that you know. I'm where I am today because someone liked and shared my videos. I want to offer the same thing back. 
I've enjoyed watching the YouTubers that I've found through my video, and I'd like for you to do the same. I can't wait to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.